Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Zambulka. In this video, we will see inline function in C++ language. Now look at this example. So here, this is the main function and from the main function, we are calling this show data function. So here, the show data function is written. Now see, whenever we are calling this function, what is happening? From this function, we are calling this function. So when this function is called, at that time, state of this function is saved. State in the sense, what, a, what are the values of variable those are saved. Then address of this calling statement is also saved. Then we are moving to this statement. It will get executed. Again, when coming back, state of this function will get reloaded and control will go to this calling statement. And from that, it will start execution. Now see, one time we have called, so this activity will be done one time. If 10 times if we call this show data function, 10 times we have to do all those things. That means we have to save the state of this function, uh, we have to save the uh, address of this statement, then control will go to this function, it will get executed, again we are coming back to the calling statement, likewise. And because of that, there will be extra time get wasted, it will add more complexity. To avoid this, there is one feature provided by the C++ language that is called an inline function. Now see what this inline function is doing. So we have to use this keyword inline. So here we have made this function as the inline function by mentioning this keyword inline. Now see, so we will run this, we will compile this. no error and we are getting the output now see uh, when we are using this keyword inline what is happening so what compiler does when this function is inline it replace calling statement by this statement so it is equivalent to this so that calling statement is get replaced by statement in this function so 10 times suppose if you do so 10 times that calling function will get replaced by statements in this function likewise now see if it is a smaller function then it is okay because that function at a calling statement will get replaced by the, this statement but if this function is large now see suppose 10 times it is called so 10 times that much data or that those many statements will get added there so inline function is better if that function is small with the less number of statements. Now we'll see another example. So here simply we are printing hello world. Now suppose this function is passing some value. Suppose we are passing some value. So suppose I am making something like this and here I am printing this value. So suppose I am making like this. Value is equal to something like this now what i'm doing 10 is passed and a will get allocated with the 10 and that value i'm putting here so here again i'm compiling and here i'm getting that result now see what is happening here there are two statements so first statement is a is getting declared a is getting defined and a is getting allocated with the 10 so it is similar to integer a is equal to 10 and this is the second statement so this function call will get replaced by these two statements first statement is this integer a is equal to 10 first statement and second statement will be this so whenever we are passing this value to the inline function so it will be done like this so in this way inline functions are used in c++ language but it is useful when functions are small but it will add extra load or it will add more complexity if the function is large so better we should use inline this keyword with the function with the less number of statements so friends i hope you like this video if is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you